Amber and it's four o'clock in the afternoon and we're in the kitchen for another Kitchen Capers session. Just get started with our warm-up, with our beautiful posture as ever, tummy tucked in, shoulders nice and soft. Get in with our legs, our marching, or our toe taps, or even heel taps. Whatever you're comfortable with just to get our circulation going. And we'll just do that while we have the chat. Just sit and march and toe tap or whatever you're comfortable with. I'll just get back to marching. That seems to be the easiest one for me to be able to talk, talk and walk at the same time. Bring in your arms whenever you're ready. Hope you're all doing well today, that you've had a lovely day. As ever, the health and safety stuff, please participate in the session to your own level of comfort and ability. Be mindful of your own health conditions. Uh, you know what you can, you can do. Make sure that you've got that lovely clear space round about, particularly if you want to move around doing a bit of marching uh, or a bit of dancing, whatever you're up for this afternoon. So cats, dogs, budgies, hamsters, a lot of them, get them out the door and the good, comfortable, sensible footwear on, get those slippers in the cupboard for bedtime. Week four, so we've been challenging you a wee bit more at each of the sessions, entirely up to you, what you feel comfortable to do, but we'll just give you some guidance what is possible. Have your support near to hand eh, for the, the standing ones if you feel you need that or take advantage of the seated option if that's what suits you best. First move for today is ankle mobility. Now that's the one where we're going to extend the range of mo movement in our ankles. Our ankles do get very stiff. I want you to imagine the pound coin or the fiver or a tenner on the floor, something on the floor that you're going to place your toe on and place your heel on exactly the same spot. Have your support near to hand if you feel you need to hold on. So really placing your toe and your heel and really noticing the range of movement in your ankle joint and in your hip and in your knee and oh look there's a pound coin or a five pound note on the, or a ten pound note on the other side there so do the same with the other leg so place our toe on that fiver tenner whatever it is place our heel and our seated option identical just place that toe and then your heel on that same point, maintaining that lovely posture all the time, but keeping your shoulders soft and relaxed. We're actually going to do some shoulder rolls, um, so we've done many of these, so off we go again. So up to your ears, round to the back. Just a lovely, slow, controlled movement. Just enjoy that movement in our shoulders because they do get a wee bit stiff as the days go by, don't they? And on these cold days, it's, it's hard to kind of get the shoulders moving, identical with that one sitting as well. Lovely, and we would aim to do 10, 10 of those, if you can. We are going to do some wall presses again today, so we're standing, I'm going to come a wee bit closer this time, standing in front of my worktop, I'm going to place my hands just about shoulder width, have my feet hip width apart, facing forward, so keeping my legs straight, arms straight, lovely tall posture, and just lean in to your cupboard door. We're going to do three of those. And this is great for your arm strength and for your wrist strength. 
and keep your back nice and straight. Beautiful. If you're going to do a seated option, nice seated posture and just a wee chest opener. Just draw that chest back. We'll do just a few of those. Lovely. Some more mini squats. Work top or support near at hand. Up onto our toes. Just feel nice and comfortable there. And if you can let go, if you're comfortable with one hand, no hands, one finger, you just choose. So we're just going to drop into a wee squat, sticking our bottom out a bit. Just drop down as far as you can and come back up again. We'll do another one of those. I'll aim to do five if I can. And really feel that in your ankles and in your calves. Go for another one. And a seated option for this would be, wait for it, some jockey lifts. If you're, if you're not feeling ready to do squats, so sit nice and comfortable in your chair. I'm sure I don't need to show you how to do a jockey lift now. We're just facing forward. We can have our reins. And who we got today? We've got Ricky. We'll have Ricky today. Hiya, Ricky. And we're going to aim for five jockey lifts here, so off we jolly well go. We've got a nice straight back. We're going to lift our bottom off the seat, but keep our thighs in contact. So off we go. Try and keep your back nice and straight. You'll need to lean a wee bit forward though, because we're, we're well into the race. Beautiful. Thank you, Ricky. We won. <laughs> Our last movement for this session, we're going to do some hip rolls or some hip circles. We've done many of these, we do love a hip circle too. So we're standing nice and tall with a beautiful kind of solid base. And this is the one where we slide out to the side and roll round the back. So we're going to do five rolling round the back. If you can do that, put your hands in your hips or if you need to hold on. Just that slide and roll, that D. We're going to aim to do some front rolls too. So we're sliding to the side and round to the front. Slide to the side, round to the front. Give our hip joints a reload workout. And having good mobility in our hip joints will help us just with Standing, walking, getting up and down the stairs, getting up and down from the floor. Lovely. So we've done that to one side, we need to do it to the other side. So back out, other side, down to the back. So slide and round and do these at your own pace. Do two if that's what you're comfortable with. Do three. Do four, and for five in each direction. And we're going to go out to the side and round to the front again. This is the one when I say, imagine that you're, you're washing machine on the spin cycle. So we're just spinning those clothes round and giving those hips a really good old workout. I'll do one more for luck. And a seated option for that is just to sit nice and tall with our good posture, feet facing forward and lift. Try and rock from one bum cheek to the other. You could bring in some hand movements there. You could do your swishing with your washing machine or your tumble dryer. Lovely. That's all our movements for this afternoon session. Thank you for joining in. We'll just get down to into our cool down march or toe tapping or salsa, whatever 
you fancy doing. I'll just stick with the marching for the minute. So what did we do this afternoon? We did some, we were up on our toes, been down and doing some mini squats and some jockey lifts. We did some ankle mobility, we did some shoulder rolls, and we did some hip rolls, some hip rotations in both directions. And we did some wall presses just on the cupboard so you can do it on the wall. And that's good for your shoulders and your arms and your wrists. We reminder for our health and well-being, friendship circles, on the phone, not on the internet or anything like that. These are groups that we're setting up, just small groups of people just to have an opportunity to chat what, about what's important to you, about your health and well-being. No, we facilitated the groups, we facilitated by myself and Yolanda. So we would really love to, to have that opportunity to have a bit of a chat with you, find out what's important to you or what you're having a bit of an issue with and how we can help each other out and how we can maybe motivate each other to move a wee bit more, sit a wee bit less. You need to register for those health and wellbeing circles. So you need to contact Age Scotland switchboard and they will send your details on to us and either Yolanda or I will get in touch with you and let you know a wee bit more about them. The number that you need to call, and I'm not very good at remembering this at all, 0333 223 2400. That's 0333 223 2400. Well, that's us finished for this afternoon. I hope you have a lovely evening and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.